If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Well, welcome, beer fans. It is another Beer Guys TV beer cast. Yeah. Yeah, and we are at the studios in Glencoe, Minnesota once again. Hey, we're getting kind of used to being back down here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Ka- nice. Kind of fun. Nice. Super uh, secret might, beer We even have Brent with, you know, Brent yeah. only lives. Well, he lives like two, two blocks away. Town, so right? I got to keep an eye on the place. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So the caretaker. Kind of nice. So uh, Brent is here. Chad Zeppelin is here. What's yeah. up? And our uh, producer Shane Zeppelin. I'm here. Uh, no, no Jerry this time. But, See, that's uh, Jerry. That's that's that Jerry. You can't make it every time. But, Party too. But uh, well, anyway, on this uh, beer guys uh, TV beer cast, brought to you by Yiggy.com. Y- <laughs> we'll talk more about that later on. Yiggy, Yiggy, Yiggy. Oh boy, gotta get Yiggy with it. We're gonna Shane. Now you brought this beer, but it's from the good folks at Shells out of New Ulm, Minnesota. Voted the best craft brewer in Minnesota. Well, and they're close yeah, to they're right. the studio. Yep. Yes. Neat yeah. place to go. Always fun place to visit. Uh, I know you guys were down there for Oktoberfest, right? Love, uh, yeah, love it down there. Yep. Love always it. a good time. Yes. And they got, they've got. they really come around the last few years with a lot of neat series. This is part of a, a series. They're cave aged barrel series. Now, they actually have the old beer caves there from lagering years, many years ago. It's a... Uh, Pre-refrigeration, yes. Yes, cave cave aged barrel aged uh, uh, beer here. This is a Baltic Porter, oh. and it comes in at ten point eight nine percent ABV. That's Woo-hoo! Christmassy. Yeah, it's very Christmassy. <laughs> Order. Look at the reindeer. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> That's how you get ahead of yourself. Oh, yeah. This is sitting by the fireplace beer. Oh, there, yeah, there you go. It's a sipper. Uh, well, maybe. I, we haven't tried it we yet. All, yeah, exactly. Now, we rate our beers here on Beer Guys TV with uh, three possible ratings. It's buy it, because we really like it. Try it, like, yeah, you might want to check this out. Or skip it. This isn't probably going to be in and out of your alley. So <laughs> those, those are, are the three <laughs> options here on the uh, Beer Guys TV beer cast. And uh, anyway, uh, Shells has really been really diversifying, trying some really neat things, and I've really liked a lot of their beers as of late. So they've got a uh, whole series on sours. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, sour how about beers. that? So uh, delving more into the saisons. Well, the Star Keller is. Oh, there. oh you're right. Oh. Yeah. Star Keller is an offshoot of Shells, which is all their sour beers. Okay. okay. Which is. Uh, uh, if I know, if I'm correct here, that's uh, Ted Marty's son is yes. running running that brewery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I mean it's tied to shells. I suppose it's correct. not really shells, but that whole Star Keller thing has helped them diversify into these kinds of things. Okay. Well, this is this is number four on the uh, Cave Aged Barrel series. So. Um, with that, should we crack her open? Let's do that. Let's nice. do it. Who's got the cracker opener? It looks like Brent has one. Oh, the handy Leatherman. Oh, the Leatherman. They should send me two. Oh. <laughs> I, got, I got the Buy crack. Buy one, get two free. There you go. Well, if you want to uh, share with uh, old Cousin Chad down yeah, there. Yeah, share. All right, Cuz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> share. <laughs> uh, you know, Shane, you and I have, um, we've tried quite a few Shell's beers over the years here on Beer Guys TV. and. Uh, yeah. Rarely disappointed. <laughs> Rarely. Yep, yep. See. We'll um, see. I, 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 yeah. I tried one recently, and I can't remember. I stopped at the uh, Crooked Pint in uh, Chaska, and they had uh, a Shell's... I can't remember. It was a lager. It was a curly curly something or other. But it, it was really good. It was a lager, but it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't your typical... Uh, mainstream lager, so wow, okay, thank you. <laughs> I got a glass of foam, you that's made, awesome. Made that breathe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, oh. again, the uh, beer style is a Baltic porter, alcohol by volume is 8.9 percent. It should have kind of a warm, bourbony characteristic to it, hints of uh, sweet caramel, and yeah, oak, and vanilla. You might find it looks like it. I definitely I can smell the bourbony uh, yeah. bourbons uh, coming off of there. It's kind of a creamy, caramely aroma. It, it is. I I agree. But um, you do get the the 
alcohol notes. Yeah, the alcohol. The oh yeah, for sure. Right off yeah. the uh, old yeah. sniffer there. It should have the uh, proof on the label. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Show me some proof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, okay, let's take a short break. Should we? Yeah, let's uh, let our sponsors come on here. Okay, let's give uh, our spiel. Hear from our friends at Yiggy. Yeah, Yiggy. Y i g g i y dot com. In case, you, in case somebody can't remember. remember. I y dot com. Same spelled forwards and backwards. You got it. Let's hear from. <laughs> let's hear from those, wow. hear from those yeah. folks. We'll be back with more right here on the Beer Guys TV Beer Cast. We know that one serving just isn't enough. So there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. Well, welcome back, everyone, to the Beer Guys TV Beer Cast from Glencoe, Minnesota. Shane, Greg, Brent, and Chad on this one. And we are talking about the beer from Shells Brewing out of New Ulm, Minnesota. It's from their Cave Aged series. And uh, it's also barrel aged. It's got, uh, it's 10.89% ABV. You said eight something before. I did? Yeah. No, it's a 10.8. 10.8. Yeah. That's even more. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you done good. Good job, Shane. He ciphers real good. <laughs> <laughs> Do some ciphering right there. Didn't even have to take his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I did. Did you have a little tape? Have you, have you? One, two, three. Um, so 45, ten, and if you uh, ten, uh, divide it by six, yeah, hmm. <laughs> it's the point that throws you off. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it I does. don't, I don't have a point finger. <laughs> sure you do. Oh. Sure you oh, do. I was using Sure you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, see? Now you hey, no point that thing at uh, me. It's got a nail in it. All right. <laughs> 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 oh boy! Well, what do you think here? What's um? Let's catch. We give it the old beer guys uh, TV um, sure. rundown. Sure. Who, who wants to start? Brent. Um. Brent, oh. Brent Anderson from Glencoe, Minnesota. Oh, Brent, yeah. Oh. Rock star. Well, Brent, Brent uh, sings uh, as well. You're in. You're in. What's the name of the band you're in? Oh, the Stand Ups. The Stand Ups. Oh. He's a stand up kind of guy. A bunch yes. of stand up guys. Yeah. But they are, and they love beer as well. Oh, uh -huh. perfect. Good combination. And what style of music? Uh, R&B blues along the lines of Stax, like Otis Redding. And oh. Stuff like that. Give us a little taste. Uh, how Go about on. Give, the beer? Give us a, yes. Okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll stick, we'll stick the beer. Okay, so you can check them out in Minnesota playing around different... Yeah. Yes, we just started playing out, so we think we've... We've got a few shows, uh, one in uh, Waconia at Schramm Winery and Brewery oh. the night before Thanksgiving. Okay. And then uh, the night after Thanksgiving at the glorious so. Excelsior Brewery. Ah. So, well, good for yeah, you. Yeah, you're awesome. getting some gigs. So you can check out some beer, wine, and great okay. music. From Brent. Well, yes. By the stand-ups. And the stand-ups. And the stand-ups. Stand well, All right. right. Well, give us your review there, Mr. Stand-up right. Man. Okay. Well, now, it's this cave-aged barrel series. I would say that this is a beer that I'm not completely shocked by when they talk about the, the barrel aging because you definitely get that tannin flavor from the barrel. The what? T the tannin. The, if it's, if it's, it, it should be an oak barrel that I'm assuming that this was aged in. Mm -hmm. And since I think it was a whiskey, isn't that what the what they said on there? Mm -hmm. It was a whiskey? Yes. So it was oak. So you get the tannins out of the oak, which give you that, that kind of smooth mouth, kind of rounded note to it. 
definitely can uh, when you when you smell the beer you get the alcohol note mm -hmm. often but it also s sticks true to that porter that baltic porter you do get the hints of vanilla kind of a little bit i'm getting a little bit of chocolate just a hint not mm -hmm. beating you over the head with it just a hint of it but it's it's something that i would i would buy yeah Good. Good. It's a buy it from it's the uh, stand up. And it's and it's a nice it's a nice beer for the winter weather. Oh for sure. Oh yeah. Yep. It's a warmer. It's it is a warmer. What it is that it is. All right, well thank you, Brent. Let's go sure. over to Chad Zeppelin from Litchfield, Minnesota. Oh, Chad, what uh, what's your thoughts on this one? I know this probably doesn't fit into your standard wheelhouse of beers, is my guess. No, it's it's not up my alley. Um, good job, Brent, by the way. Uh, that was, I, I can't was, compete with your vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice description. Yeah, yeah. Big words. <laughs> no. uh, um, it 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 definitely is a sipper. I yep. mean, slow sipper. It's strong. You can you can taste the the little bit of the the like Brent said, hint of chocolate, maybe caramel. Um, but I, I taste the alcohol, which is to me a little bit of a turn off, but mm -hmm. that's just my preference. Um, definitely uh, porters, uh, darker beers like this is not, not for me. I'm more of a lighter uh, or an IPA person, as you all know, uh, fruity, crazy. Every once in a while we catch you with one that's off the mark, but uh, yeah. for the most part you, you stay true. Yeah, yeah. so uh, for me, this is a skip it, but it's nothing against it. Shell's mm -hmm. uh, breweries, uh, one of my favorites, if not the favorite brewery in Minnesota, um, you know, along with others, but it's always fun to visit them. Um, but anyway, for me, it's a skip it, but it's not like a terrible. Sure. Uh, I, w I would sip on a bottle for one night mm -hmm. uh, in front of the fire and then switch back to my old reliable. So. All right. Well, very good. Well, thank you, Chad. Uh, if you don't mind, I will save you for the anger, being you brought the beer, uh, Shane. Yes, Brad. Um, would that be like a, a hams? No. Hams the beer refreshing. <laughs> Until oh, it gets Luke cold. <laughs> Luke cold. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I, I tell you what, my, my take on this beer is um, it, it, it definitely the, the first sip you go, wow, it, your mouth just kind of overloads with the, you got, it's got a lot of alcohol feel to it. You get the bourbon, mm -hmm. you do get some of those vanilla notes, the Baltic Porter thing like you mentioned, Brent. Um, and then and then it just kind of warms as it goes down the pipe. You just kind of feel it all the way down and go, woo, okay. So it's a good winter warmer, a sipper. But I, I found the the more I, I, I drink it, I think my um, I think my palate kind of uh, acclimates to it, and I, it kind of gets better the more I drink it. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, this would be a, a nice sipper along the fire. It, you pick up that bourbon flavor, almost like you're sipping on a glass of bourbon, but got the beer characteristics that go along with it. So um, it, it, it kind of it gains momentum with me the more I drink it. Might be that 10.89%. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, paralyzing the palates. That's why we're. we're, we're I think you're almost are. cuddling with that glass. <laughs> <right now. laughs> that's why we're all four of us are sharing one bottle because uh, that's how it goes. But anyway, I, I like it, Spear. Um, I would say, at the minimum, a, a try it um, because it, it just got so much going for it. It's worth a try for sure. Uh, it, it's not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. Um, but I kind of like it. It kind of it's kind of growing on me, and I would I would like this on a on a nice cold winter's day. Ah, so with that, let's go over to the, our producer Shane Zeppelin. Well, thanks, Greg. I get um, the aroma, the alcohol right off the top with the aroma. I like this beer. It pairs well with nothing. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, that's a good thing. How about a marshmallow? That, 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 no, not even a marshmallow. I, I think it's an after dinner, after dessert. You're gonna sit down to relax and you're gonna sip on this. It's the cognac of beers. Ooh, that, that, you're gonna sip on analogy. it. Yeah, yeah, after a meal watching the whole football game. Yeah. <laughs> I I like it. I, I guess that I would have a cigar, maybe a Maduro cigar, maybe an aromatic pipe with this. Um, I get a dark caramel. 
mm -hmm. for a flavor. Yep. And if you remember when we were much younger, a few years ago, <laughs> when Brock's had the bag of caramels and there was always that one dark chocolate one that was in there. Everybody wanted it. The bag. Yep. The one that That's got burnt. That's the one. <laughs> That's the special caramel. That's what this reminds me of. I, this is a buy it for me. Yep. I hope Shells makes this a regular in the series, some kind of a, a regular. I like to see Shells go out in this limb because you see other breweries, Line of Kugels has their Russian oh, yeah, uh, they're, stout. They're, they're, they're uh, Big Eddie series. The Big Eddie series. Yeah, yeah. The Russian uh, And that's an every mm -hmm. year yep. um, occurrence. I hope this is an every year occurrence. Like the snowstorm, except keep the formula the yeah. same yeah. each right. year. Because I think this is a great winter beer. It's great by the fireplace. It's an after dinner, after dessert. All you're doing is letting your stomach settle and you're sipping on this while you let the night soak you in. This is a beer that, um, if you're not used to big beers, it's, at first it's gonna throw you. Oh yeah. yeah you're gonna go, oh, oh man, oh yeah. But I'll tell you what, the more I sipped on this, this. I pick up some really dark fruits off of that mm -hmm. too, and a tinge of sweetness. I, I'm, I'm, I can get uh, like date, yep, like a yep, date yep, yep, flavor yep, in there yep. somewhere. Sure, yeah, it's, no, I, it's I, I, sweet I like enough. It. Yeah, so I, I would say, uh, yeah, de de for me it's a definite try. But as you say, I, I'm kind of I'm teetering towards a buy it because <laughs> the more I the more I drink it, the more I like it there. So uh, definitely check it out. But so you'll you split a six pack anyway. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm up for that. So you're, it's a buy it from you. Yeah, it's a, a buy it from me. you. Yep. Buy it uh, skip me. it and a try. It. So kind of all over the board. A little something for everybody there from our good friends at Shells Brewing out of New Ulm, Minnesota. Check it out. It's part of their Cave Aged Barrel Series, yeah. number four. Number four. Number four. All right. Well, well that's going to wrap it up for this Beer Guys TV podcast from Glencoe, Minnesota. For Brent, Chad, Shane, I'm Greg Johnson. And until next time, beers to you. See ya. Yeah. Yeah. More than my internet. <laughs> Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at beerguystv at gmail.com.